Welcome back. This is Anastella. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Anastella, Anastella Rocks, Rocks with, with the Oldham Killers. Killers. I'm Duncan Richardson. Okay. I'm Rob Rees. I'm Jordan Wright. Okay, you're one of, well, you're the new member, you're uh, a yeah. new drummer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how long have you actually been in the band for? About a month, isn't it? Maybe just over. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. How's it going? It's amazing, really enjoying it. Yeah? Yeah, it's been great. Have you been in other bands before? Yeah, I've been in three bands before okay. this one. So I've played a lot of gigs, done. Because you're, you're only 23, stuff. aren't you? 21. So. 21? Yeah. Rob, you told me he was 23. You added two two years to him. I was just trying to age him, I think. I thought, I thought, I thought, you, 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 were trying, I thought you were trying, trying to make, to make the, the whole band <laughs> younger. No, yeah, yeah, exactly. so. Well, I, th I think he was 12 when he was in his first band. <laughs> 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 now, Rob, you used to be in Reese. I did, yes. So what happened with Reese and how did this new band develop? Um, well, Reese disbanded in, in January of this year. Um, basically, um, every we we all seem to want to go in different directions. Really, it's sort of dissolved the band to a certain extent. And because I wanted to do more rockier stuff, and John, who I've done the main writing with, he wanted to go the other way and okay, do more softer. softer stuff, more like um, Francis Dunnery sort of acoustically, mm. sort of you know that sort of rock sort of stuff. But you know, I wanted to go heavier. So, so it was a bit of a sort of clash there. So would you say the Autumn Colours is a heavier version of Reese? No, I, I would say it was a it was a different band completely. Okay. Because I I've when when we when we come to writing the songs for the Autumn Killers, I'm I've totally changed my direction on writing hmm. because I wanted to you know make it a different band. Right. I didn't want to sort of have people saying, oh oh, it sounds a bit like Reese. Hmm. Uh, do you know what I mean? I want people to say, oh, that's the Autumn Killers. I know, I know people will relate me back to that band because I was obviously in, in the band and it was named yeah. after myself, but yeah. you know, I, will, I just want to sort of move away from that and do something fresh. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you just played a set at Rockwich um, yeah. this morning yeah. and I noticed you did play a Reese song, Wasteland, mm -hmm. which yeah. is one of my favourites. I think it was the last song on yeah, the album. Yeah, last song on the album. When I reviewed but it. I'd, I'd written that yeah. four years before Reese mm. was formed. Right. And um, yeah, it was kind of weird that, that it managed to get on. National Geographic, but <laughs> it was the most <laughs> bizarre thing because yeah. I, I was, I had like a report through from the PRS, and we had we had, we had like a big chunk of money, and I was like, "Where's this what, come from? What's that what, for? Is it a <laughs> what, what, what have we done?" And it had some uh, filmmaker from Italy yeah. um, was making this series called Nazi Megastructures. Oh yeah, um, okay. It typically had to be something like that, you know. But, is that the program it was on? Yeah, well, that was the program it was on. It was a series of uh, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunate, I don't know what to say about unfortunate, that, unfortunate <laughs> programs about nasty megastructures. But you know, you take what you can get, don't you? You, you know, yeah. if you if you can get on National Geographic, yeah, it's, why not? It's, it's a really cool yeah. thing. So you've got a um, single out at the moment, "When Angels yeah. Lie." What's yeah. that all about? Well, "When Angels Lie," I I wrote about basically going back to a place where you've been before and. You think things have changed, but they haven't. So we're talking about relationships here. Well, it can mean it can mean a lot of things. It mm. doesn't have to be just about relationships. What did it mean to you though? Because when you wrote it. Um, well, yeah, it was about relationships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <There we go. laughs> but, but, but you, you, you know, um, it was about an X X X X X. But yeah, yeah, it you know it was about um, being with somebody, moving away from them, and then. Yeah. Going back to where they were and thinking they had changed, but you know, a leopard never changes its spots. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, you did um, a song before, and you said it was. Oh, I made a note to hear about it. A song about Theresa May and Boris Johnson. So tell us a bit about that. <laughs> well, that was actually a cover. Right. I don't know if you knew it. No, I don't. It oh, I didn't recognise it. It was so. actually a Banana Rama cover. Oh, okay. yeah. Summer. Okay. Cruel Summer. Oh, right. which fits um, in. Quite Which with what's yeah, fitting quite minute. well with, with the government <laughs> and um, the mess they've got us in at the moment. Okay. And tied in very nicely for you. Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I ask your opinions on Brexit? <laughs> I, I take it you have strong opinions. I 
don't think we could legally put that down, to be honest. No, I asked Skid Row their opinions <laughs> on Brexit, and so they told me straight out. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Remainer. Okay. Definitely. I was, I was, I was, I wanted to get out. Okay. But then again, after everything that's gone on, I probably would have changed my mind. Yeah. Really, to be yeah. honest. Uh, Contentious issue. <laughs> The worst case scenario, I'm part Canadian, so I can move to Canada if I want. Right. But not at the moment. Well, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're based in Wales anyway, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing yeah. Welsh uh, band, rock bands. The yeah, there's, there's, so, there's loads around yeah. at the moment. It's great. Yeah. It's, it's... Where does the name The Autumn Killers come from? <laughs> well, we were, we were just chucking names around, and um, it's the first thing I thought. I, 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 I mean, I like it. I like the way it looks. And, uh, yeah, it yeah, looks very cool. yeah. It does. It, it does. And I think I, th I suppose you could you could class it as we 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 want to stay in the summer, and we want to we want to kill autumn. Okay, well that's fair enough. I think I'd agree with you. On yeah, that one. yeah, yeah. Nobody Marshall wants to be in the autumn and winter, no, do they? I, you I know, find it quite yeah. depressing times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although yeah. the leaves are nice. Ahead, yeah, the leaves are nice. I think you're going to get one of those sad light the things, yeah, you know, for, one, for the winter, you know, yeah. when it gets dark at like four o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> so, what have you got planned for the rest of the year? Um, well, we're going in the studio early January, I yeah. think, um, to record another couple of tracks, and then we're going to compile all them together to do an EP. Yeah. Right. Um, a couple other tracks. The second track we did called "Wait a Minute" is probably going to be the next single. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, it's uh, it's a really nice when you when you got when you hear it with two guitarists, it's it's it's, it's really it's really yeah. beautiful. It's yeah. it's it's a real great track, and yeah. it's it's really catchy as well. And, and you know that's what you, that's what you want. You want to give the hooks to people, don't you? That's right. You know, yeah. remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, notice today you mentioned that you you were playing without your guitarist, so you. Yeah. You had a couple of changes in lineup already, you know, with the new drummer first. So you're now looking for a new r guitarist, yeah. I assume, as soon as possible. Basically. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Putting yeah. That out here. Well, we've got, we so, got a few so. auditions coming up um, okay. over the next, yeah. the next couple of weeks um, yeah. to try out somebody yeah. for the position. Yeah. It's a bit stressful. You've got getting... anyone in mind? See what they like. Got, yeah, yeah, we've got, a, the right we've got a few. Um, we've, got, we've got at least two, two that, that seem really good candidates. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think. Um, audition and see how they get one on of the, one of those two could be mm. could be in definitely it's a and bit of a rush getting everything ready yeah yeah just yeah. one guitar Cause, yeah yeah because so. we literally have one rehearsal on friday yeah. before this to try and rejig everything we could to make it make viable it. For, well, you did yeah. very well so, yeah. yeah it was it was a bit of a rush to be yeah. honest yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you had much airplay with your single? We've had absolutely loads. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where have you been played? Everywhere. We've been been played on uh, Midlands Metalheads Radio. We've been playlisted on there. Literally. We've been playlisted on ten radio stations in the US. And is this the single Where Angels? Where well, Angels? Like? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's. We were number one in in Canberra in Australia, which is nice. bizarre. But um, you know, Tour Australia. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how much that would cost, really, to <laughs> you know, to a tour of Canberra. Lot, I, I think it's probably got one venue there, and one venue about three thousand miles away is yeah. like the typical Australia. Yeah. It would end up like a, an in between us movie if we went on went on tour somewhere. <laughs> oh, no, not like the in between us too, though. I wouldn't. <laughs> not like the, the no, no, definitely yeah. not. Well, but, no words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You can relax now for the rest of the day and enjoy the music. Anyone you're looking forward to seeing, especially? I mean, some great bands. I, I'm quite looking forward to seeing Tequila Mockingbird. Oh, okay. They look quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they I know, are. I know Scam as well. Yeah. Mm. And um, uh, there's, there's a couple of other bands. I, I know, I know the guy from Massive as well. Oh yes, uh, everyone, everybody Brad. does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we did, um, when I was in my last band, we done a gig, gig for him in the Patriot. Oh right. Um, Back last yeah. last year sometime. Yeah, yeah but yeah, they they they're, they're pretty cool. Yeah. They were playing yesterday, yeah. weren't they? In um, Stone Deaf. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They interviewed me at Stone Deaf, which was nice. Yeah. They interviewed you. Yeah, because I interviewed them a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Last month at SOS Fest, and yeah. Brad said to me, "Right, we'll interview you next time." <laughs> oh, cool. fine. So and I'm going to see him again today. So I'm not sure who's interviewing who today. Yeah. Interview we'll just have other. a conversation, just yeah. with. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interview right. each other at the same time. Yes, mm. exactly. I guess that's what a conversation yeah. is in a way. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it consists true. of questions. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. it's been lovely speaking to you. Yeah, Go and relax now. Enjoy the yeah. rest of the 
your day. Until next time, guys, this is Rock and Roll. This is Rock and Roll. Bang out to my